Hello, everybody. Ron Callis here with another episode of Automation Unplugged. It is uh, episode 28. I have an awesome guest for you guys. I have a bit of a Christmas present. For those of you that are out and attend trade shows and attend buying groups, you're going to know this person. Maybe you've even seen this person perform live, which is uh, always a blast. Uh, it is today. Uh, it is today. That's kind of an obvious statement, right? Uh, it is uh, 1230 on Wednesday, December 20th. Uh, my son's birthday was two days ago. Happy birthday, Max. He just turned nine. He's actually sitting right over here to my left. He's doing some homework. And uh, we have Christmas right around the corner, which is always fun. And I believe uh, Hanukkah just wrapped up in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, so uh, hope those folks celebrating all these nice holidays are having a blast and enjoying their family and friends. I know that uh, my family and I are. We're actually heading out of town this weekend, heading up to Virginia. And I'm um, looking forward to that. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So uh, we have Camilla Bellario from Leon Speakers. How are you, Cammie? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, Ron. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So how's, first of all, you're up there in Ann Arbor, Michigan right now, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Weather's a little different up here than I'm sure what you're used to. You know, I'm I'm not going to do it. There's a palm tree right out my window. Don't, and yeah. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't go there. I'm looking directly at a mound of snow right now. So is, but at least is, it's a sunny is there, day. Is there really snow on the ground already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been uh, warm. It's been uh, 42 degrees the last couple of days. So okay. we've uh, had a lot of it melt, but there was about a foot of snow on the ground up until then. Yes. I won't tell you Chris the temperature outside or that it's, you know, nice and yeah. pleasant because that just wouldn't be nice. It wouldn't be appropriate, right? No, no. The, the trees start start budding here when it gets over 45. So I see some buds on a tree because it's confused why it's sunny right now. But uh, yeah, we're used to the cold. Sorry, awesome. we're long sleeves. <laughs> now, Camilla, uh, uh, as I mentioned in my intro, um, you are a bit of a road warrior and brand ambassador for Leon Speakers. You are, it seems like you are everywhere. Sometimes you're going week to week to week to different events around the country. Um, yeah. What what officially is your title or your responsibility with Leon? Yeah, I'm a senior account manager. Um, I do quite a lot. Um, I do all of our regional travel. So I work with our regional sales reps, uh, train them, go out, visit all of our key dealers. I do all of our buying program travel. Um, I deal with all of our buying program dealers. And then I also train uh, all of our incoming dealers. So um, everybody gets a taste uh, before uh, before they start selling the product line. Okay, understood. Now, what, I, what I'd want to go into here next is I always love to learn about people in our industry and where they came from and how they got into the industry. Before I do yeah. that, I, I want to jump over to our Facebook page here. Let me just make sure our stream is actually live and that all the technology is cooperating. Sometimes I run under the assumption that it's working only to find out that it's not. So uh, bear with me here as I just check out uh, the page. Okay. Yep. It looks like we are, looks like we are live. So if you're out there in Facebook land watching us live, thank you for watching us. Please like and share. Uh, Camilla's giving you the peace sign. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Um, and again, how we, we, we share this content is by you guys liking it and sharing it because that helps your peers and your friends in the industry ultimately see this content. And um, we want more people to see the content. That's what it's all about. So all about. The, the tech is where, and by the way, if you have any questions for Camilla about uh, uh, Leon speakers or anything related to the CI space, Please post the questions in the comment section, and uh, I will do. Uh, uh, I'll try to be diligent about reading those as real time as possible, so that we can get her response um, on those matters. So, Camilla, uh, how did you land in the the CI industry? And uh, give us your backstory, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, well, I grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's where Leon is located. Uh, serendipity is what brought me here. I studied at University of Michigan. I studied music. And uh, so I received my bachelor's degree actually in classical music and opera. Uh, so I'm a singer. And um, I hadn't heard of Leon ever before. I actually met the president of the company, Noah, through a mutual friend um, who brought me to Leon because Leon has this fantastic music venue called the Leon Loft. Uh, I am a folk singer. I sing Americana music. Um, so I came here and I was one of the first people to try out the stage before it even became really the Leon Loft, really what it was, what it is uh, today. So um, I came here to sing and at the time I had a different job. I wasn't even looking for a job, um, but uh, I came here, I sang and about three weeks later, uh, I sat down with Noah and Ethan just to see, I came here for a tour after that, uh, just of our awesome factory, we were really interesting building, interesting campus. Um, and they, they were like, well, we're not entirely sure, you know, what we want you to do. Uh, I was managing retail stores and, and recruiting management for those stores um, prior. So um, they were looking for someone to see if we could start this new concept of account management here at Leon. And they asked me if I wanted to. And I, you know, I kind of gravitate towards music focused um, cultures. So to me, it was kind of a no brainer. And you know, five years later, it's uh, still going strong. So it's it's what brought me in uh, into the industry, which I'm you know really happy to be a part of. So tell me the Leon Loft. This there's so there's a stage at Leon, and and yeah. this sounds very unique, interesting. Yeah. How many manufacturers also you know, have performance artists regularly? So can you you know tell my audience, and I'd love to learn more as well. What is that and how does yeah. it work? You're going to probably learn a lot about Leon today that you're, you know, we, we have uh, quite a few kind of side projects like the Leon Loft, all these different pieces that help us do uh, our mission, which is what we call balance by design. So not only just balancing the design of a space of our product line and how do we integrate into the design of a home because we're a really design focused company, um, but also balancing your passions in your life. Uh, into the work environment so that it feels less like work and more like just your your life, your your purpose. Um, that's kind of where the Leon Loft was born. Um, but so basically, what the Leon Loft is, it's a it's a really cool uh, bespoke stage uh, venue that's in our building. It's upstairs, right actually above me right now. And we manufactured and built our a custom PA system with horn tweeter. I mean, it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful space with a projector and screen. So we host a lot of uh, events within this space as well. Uh, but the original intent, uh, we actually syndicate uh, a national radio show called Acoustic Cafe. Acoustic Cafe is uh, run by Ryan Re Reinhardt. Ro sorry, <laughs> Rob Reinhardt who, if any of you were at our boat party at Cedia, you, you, you saw him because he was interviewing the artist. But basically what he does is anytime a really cool artist comes to Michigan or comes to perform to Detroit or Royal Oak or Auburn Hills, you know, any of the big uh, venues in Michigan, they'll come to Leon prior for a private performance and an interview uh, that then gets syndicated um, on NPR. So, and you can also watch them online. They're also videotaped. Um, but we've had some really, uh, top shelf performances here at Leon. It's a small venue. So we give away tickets on a radio show about 120 people can fit like sardines in the space. Um, so it's, uh, it's really cool. It's actually, uh, I think I, I don't think I said it actually, I'm a, I'm a recording artist. And I had my album release party here as well. So we had, we've, we've had some really awesome parties here. Oh my, all right. So I, I'm going to put in the <laughs> comment section how people can buy your, your music. Or do you want to tell us now? How, what's the best way if someone wants to hear you, Camilla, and, uh, and purchase your music, how would they do that? Yeah, you can Google my name, my actual name. Um, or you can look up my name on iTunes. Um, it's also on Spotify. Um, you can go to CamillaBellario.com and you can buy it on there too. And um, 
Yeah. I also have a YouTube page. I have an Instagram account that are all just So you're, you're basically everywhere. Anyone that, if people want to find you, if they just put your name in, they're going to find you on any social platform. Yeah. And the lucky thing is there's not very many Camilla Bellarios in the world. So um, I'm usually the first, you know, result. Sure. By the way, uh, Hagai from uh, Access Networks uh, says hello. He says, Hi. go Hi, one buddy. firefly. <laughs> he just awesome. posted a comment. So Camilla, tell, tell my audience about Leon. What makes Leon different and special? I mean, uh, what I'm going to give my, I'm not very educated in the world of speakers and, and speaker technologies. And yeah. is, is it the technology? Is it the culture? Is it the way you treat your dealers? Is it all of Everything the above? Else. Yeah. Well, Leon as a company is a built to order speaker and TV uh, concealment uh, solutions company. So everything that we build is made in America. Everything is built here in Ann Arbor. So that's a huge differentiator from um, a lot of manufacturers in the industry or just a lot of manufacturers in general. Manufacturing in the U.S. has always been a huge passion project for us. It's always been what we're all about. Uh, but what sets Leon apart in general or what's cool about Leon, aside from all of the weird side projects that we do and all of the music and art that we're into, um, is that we're always innovating. We're always changing. We have a really awesome facility here that allows us to be a design and performance company. Uh, we have one of the only anechoic chambers uh, in the Midwest, and we we take a great deal of pride and focus on constantly upgrading and constantly building our campus out. Uh, this gives us the ability to constantly produce brand new products and improve all of our product line. Uh, it's also, I don't know if you've ever been in an anechoic chamber on, but it is, um, well, for people like me and Noah, if you know Noah at all, um, you know that silence is not our greatest uh, suit. So I've heard being in a in an anechoic chamber can be very weird. It can like freak you out if you're in there for too long. Yeah, it's it even it scares me to close the door because I mean you go in there and it's the silence is so loud. You can you, hear your heartbeat, right? I've heard. Yeah, I've heard. yeah. If you stand in there and it's really interesting, it's the quietest room within the loudest room in our building because it's in our shop. We have a really, really awesome and massive uh, manufacturing um, facility. And the Anacoic Chamber is right um, where all the rest of the testing goes. So every single product that goes down our line, uh, that's a speaker, gets tested right on the line there. Um, and then all of our product development happens right next to it. So a lot of our product development, our tweaks, we build all of our speakers in-house here. We develop all of our crossovers in-house as well. Um, so everything is refined right there. Um, so the Anacoke Chamber is really awesome, but as a facility uh, and as a company, Leon has always been very visually and musically stimulating. So there's speakers, custom speakers, custom projects all around. Uh, right before we got on this call, Noah started playing music. We, we're just, you know, we start playing music loud through the hallway and we change it up. We have a, a really awesome system throughout the house and we're, we're you know, where we sell so many speakers, you know, we sell so many awesome custom pieces that it, you know, it makes sense for us to make sure that we feel like we're a big part of that, that we're a big part of the creativity that goes into that. Uh, now, so are, we have a really awesome facility. Hmm? No, I, yeah, I hope one day to come up there and check that out. Maybe I can bring my yeah, team up there. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Are all of some your... really bizarre stuff. Oh, go ahead. I don't know. What were you saying? No, I was going to say, so all of the speakers that are ordered are custom orders? Yeah. Every single thing is what we call built to order. So That's what amazing. a lot of people think when they think of custom is um, for us an everyday product. So there's no stocked items. We have very few products that we stock um, that don't require a ton of customization. But yeah, every single on wall surround subwoofer, everything's built by hand here. Um, and we have a really lean uh, what we call Kaizen, so constant improvement. So we have a really lean manufacturing um, concept that, that we are constantly improving, constantly striving to make our turnover really fast for these products. So you could receive a fully custom piece within five days. So it's a, it's a really um, tight uh, line that we have uh, in our shop. So we, we're now a couple of months post CDF, but do you mind sharing? What were some of the uh, exciting things that you guys were presenting at uh, the CDF show in September? 
Yeah. Uh, so CDO this year was massive for us. Uh, we celebrated our 20th year in business. So we had what we a 20th year birthday party. And as a result of that, we had this, this was my fifth CDO. So it was, uh, it was, I mean, it was easily the best CDI I've ever seen. It, our booth was next level. Um, and we brought uh, our newest passion project to CDI. So we drove our vintage 1950s Airstream from Ann Arbor across the country all the way to San Diego. And we had it at our booth. So in the beginning, we were like, should we even have a booth? Can we just live in this thing? Because I don't know if anybody went in there, but we were bumping our our awesomely new developed flagship speakers are sevens in there with a MoFi turntable. We, we had awesome kind of lifestyle branding um, within our, our uh, Airstream just as a means because not everybody's able to come to Ann Arbor to see our space. So we kind of this year wanted to show people what 20 means to us. You know, 20 years old isn't, um, isn't young for a company, but you think about it as a person and how the person matures and develops. 20 years old is actually quite young uh, when you're a company like Leon that's just now starting to grow up, just now starting to realize and come to maturity and 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 push the envelope even more. So a big part for us this year at CDO was sharing our culture, which you know not very many people know about unless you're unless you come here and you hang out with us or you see me on the road. Um, you don't really get to see our our um, artistic side, our musical side. Um, so we had instruments in the airstream. We had our music, our artwork. Uh, this year at Cedia, we released more products than we ever have at Cedia. So we have. Uh, what were some of those? What were some of those products? Yeah, so we have a, a really fantastic partnership with Audio Control, uh, and we released a, a modular amplifier, so a small form factor amplifier that you can incorporate in a product that we call the High Fit, the Horizon Interactive Fit, um, that we also released at Cedia. Um, we won an award for this product release. It's a really um, unique product that allows you to incorporate the Leon custom sound, really high-end sound with a small form factor amplifier and give you a bunch of space within that same rack uh, to place other forms of technology. Um, you know, your Roku, your Apple TV, uh, your Echo Dot, all within one, one chamber with the speakers and then cover it all with a custom grill. So you have all your technology within one space. Um, which is what a lot of people are needing right now is a solution that um, doesn't force you to put all the technology behind the TV uh, hard to access. Um, so we released that product. And then, uh, of course, we released our brand new flagship series, the 7 Series, um, for just the highest end Leon sound. Um, and, and that's what we were playing within the, uh, the Airstream, what I mentioned earlier. I'm very disappointed now because I didn't make it into the airstream. I uh, I was busy running around doing stuff and teaching classes, and I but I heard about it. I heard yeah. about this amazing airstream experience, and I was kicking myself I didn't uh, uh, make it over there to check it out. Yeah, but you don't have to. You you didn't miss out because this year is a huge year where we're going to be touring with the airstream. So um, and actually, Ron, we're going to be taking it down to Florida. Um, uh, this year as well. So we have plans to create our own regional shows with our, with our dealers to come and hang out with us um, in, in areas that we don't, don't normally get to hit as often. So uh, you'll, you'll be able to see it this year. Awesome. Well, definitely keep uh, uh, me in the loop so that we can make sure to see that. Now, I have a question for you. So you are, yeah. I mean, from the list of your responsibilities there at Leon, you are traveling the country, going to shows, um, I want to say nonstop, but any show there is, maybe you're there and you're training all the dealers. So that sounds like you, you from a work standpoint, could be a very, very busy person. But then yeah. you also have this passion for music. So how do you balance those two things? Um, yeah. and, and is music, do you, just, do you just sing or do you write and sing? or so How do you yeah. do that? So – most people at Leon are musicians as well. It's um, it's actually very rare to find a Leon who doesn't play an instrument. Seriously, it's it's very um, it's interesting how all of us kind of came together because all of us are very similar in in many ways. Um, Work life balance for me has really never been an issue. Granted, you know I don't have uh, I don't have kids, so you know that's uh, that's definitely another piece that I haven't had to tackle um, thus far in my life. Um, but 
you know, anyone that has seen me on the road, uh, especially with Noah, uh, there's a couple that I definitely always, even when I'm traveling alone, is I take my travel guitar with me. Uh, so I'll post stuff onto my Instagram account, my hotel room that I'm playing. I'm always writing stuff. Um, over the last few years, I've even taken to writing jokes and sketch comedy just because it's like everybody at Leon just likes to keep it lighthearted and, and funny. And, and we try to find the humor and in, in everything. And let's be honest, a lot in our industry is really funny. Uh, so you got to <laughs> write it down. Um, otherwise, you'll just never think of it again. So that's a huge part of it. And if anybody's ever seen Noah and I at a show, um, we don't advertise what we call our band, Noah and Cammy. Um, but we call ourselves No Cam Do. <laughs> so <laughs> we, uh, if you've ever seen us performing, so we performed at Brava Summit. We performed... Um, recently at our at one of our buying programs um so we uh we like to take what what we do and if you've ever seen it before noah who's the president of the company is a speed painter he's an artist um so he's he's a huge creator and a huge reason why our company is such a design focused company every single aspect of our company is really creative because of that um so what we do is we'll bring our guitar um noah will bring his easel his art his paint and we will perform for about 30 minutes, even more sometimes. Last time we did it um, was at uh, Azione, um is one of our buying programs. I, I was there to witness that one. That was pretty special. Yeah, I was there. We streamed yeah. it. It's, it's actually, if you go to the One Fire, you're on the One Firefly Facebook page if you're watching this. And if you scroll down, uh, you have to find the date of that event. But uh, I, I believe I did some live streaming. I, whenever you perform, Cammy, I'm usually live streaming into our page. Thank you for doing that. I, I, I totally forgot that you were there. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So that was right after the death of Tom Petty, which for us was, just, I mean, for everyone, for everyone, you know, it's, I'm not unique, but Tom Petty, it was just such a huge loss. And we were able to do the, a fantastic tribute to him. Um, so for about 45 minutes, I sang with my guitar and Noah, you didn't know what he was painting. So for 45 minutes, he's painting away. And then eventually he flips it over, finishes the painting. And I sang some Tom Petty songs and um, he ended up painting Tom Petty. Uh, we were able to uh, auction it off um, and we raised upwards close to $10,000 um, that we donated to Puerto Rico. So we're able to to you those moments where all we really want to do, Noah and I, is just perform and share passion and artwork and creativity. Um, so we're able to do that and also use it for good and um, provide uh, a lot of our dealers with, I'm sure, things that they're not used to, which is the manufacturer coming and painting and singing for them. Yeah, no, is, it's it's definitely it's a, a, a very unique, uh, amazing experience to witness it. Um now, in terms of your dealers, are, are are you you're the account manager, so you're you're defining. I'm imagining who's representing Leon and who's buying and selling your products. Is that correct? Yeah, we have a really fantastic uh, team of regional sales reps throughout the country, so manufacturers reps uh, okay. that help us vet uh, vet dealers. Definitely, our buying programs also help us with that. Um, I travel to a lot of our key accounts and. For, for me, I travel. When I go travel with our reps, uh, they'll take me to the people that they, they think I should be meeting. Um, oftentimes, people will reach out directly to me and say, hey, I met you at Cedia or I saw you at a show. I'm interested in learning more. How can we do that? Um, so I created a really robust um, training platform for them to get to know me, get to know the company, understand the product line. Um, and then also, so five years ago when I came on, I was the only real – kind of inside sales account rep person here. Um, but over five years, I've been able to take on all of this outside training and development. And luckily, we have a really cool, uh, strong inside sales rep team that I work very closely with, and they're able to support me while I'm on the road. So when I'm unable to create a quote, or after I've trained someone, they want they want further sales support, I'm comfortably able to to uh, introduce them to our inside sales team, uh, and they're able to support um, with with their knowledge and their you know assistance. So yeah, we have a you know anybody who calls Leon knows we don't have an automated system. You you call and you get a salesperson on the phone immediately, whether it's me, um, David, or Mark, 
who are inside sales reps, we're the ones that are always answering and helping with tech support. Um, we have a really awesome tech support team. Uh, so, yeah. I have a, a, a question for you, Kimmy, uh, that I think you could provide some interesting perspective to. Um, by the way, I'm looking at my software here and it's blinking red at me. I hope we don't lose this feed. Uh, no. No, everything looks good, but uh, I think... Does that just mean recording? Yeah, no. There's definitely <laughs> maybe a problem. Although we've been good for 25 minutes. Um, okay. I don't know what this symbol means now. Yeah, so I'm looking at... Is the feed going fine? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, sometimes technology well, cooperates. Someone, what was someone that? Could comment and just tell us if. Yeah, maybe if someone, someone could comment, could comment that would be really helpful. So we know if this feed is still going live. I know I've got a red crossbar. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, no. And it just showed up here. So let's see if we can get this resolved. No, it definitely doesn't. When it is there, it is solid. Yeah, it's a bit glitchy right now, but you're still streaming. Is it Facebook? Yeah, is there okay. some comments that just got posted? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't. It's we're gonna keep going and uh, still live a little in and out, but we can still see you live, Samantha Somerville. Thank you, Hi guys, still live. Dan Kaplan still there. George Tucker, when it's there, it's solid. Cool. Uh, appreciate everyone's uh, feedback. Well, well, we'll keep going. We'll see if we we can capture this. So uh, what is the reason that you think much of the, the CI industry is male dominated in terms of percentage of people that you interact with or see at shows um, or out there? There's so many you know, men versus women. You know, I'd say here at One Firefly, we're nearly 50-50 in terms of people that work at One Firefly. Yeah, but well, in the CI space, I would say that's 90 percent, you know, 10 percent. Yeah, I, I don't know how to answer that exactly. I will say that the CI industry isn't unique in that. I will say uh, a lot of manufacturing industries are um, s showing similar patterns. Um, what I can say, you know, why do I think it is? I, you know, I don't know. I, um, I think right now I, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Um, over the last five years, I mean, when I first came on at Leon, there were no women. There, there was uh, one remote controller uh, who worked for our company who was a 